Okay, today we're going to learn about the Pythagorean theorem. Now, Pythagorean uh, is called Pythagoras theorem, and it can be written as an short equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's see what it means, this equation. Uh, this uh, Pythagorean theorem works only for right triangles, okay? It's for right triangles. Right triangle is an, a triangle with an angle of 90 degrees, like this one. And then the Pythagorean theorem says that the sum of the areas the, of the two smallest square must be equal to the area of the bigger one. Okay, the sum of the two smallest areas must be equal to the bigger one, not the sum of the lengths, the sum of the areas. Let's see an example. Oh, let's let's take this note. The note it says that the bigger one is uh is, is going to be letter C. We're gonna Always the bigger one will be the letter C, and we're going to call it hypotenuse. And the two smallest, it, it can be either one A and B, uh, the order doesn't matter, and we're going to call it legs. Now, let's go over the example. We have this right triangle, and let's say the lengths of the, of the sides are 3, 4, and 5. But we say we're going to need the areas to, in order to use the Pythagorean theorem. So what will be the area of this square? 4 times 4 will be 16. What will be the area of this another square? 3 times 3 will be 9. What will be the area of this one? 5 squared will be 25. So 4 squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. 16 plus 9 equals 25. So 25 equals 25. That's how we prove that this is a model for the Pythagorean term. The sum of the two smallest must be equal to the bigger one. Let's see uh, some examples from previous stars. On this one, we're looking for the one that is not making a right triangle, okay? Look, at this one, the units are already squared, which means this one, the 25 is already the area. Let's look at the other ones. This one, we need to find the area first. Three squared will be nine, so the area is nine. This one, we need to find the area. Four squared will be 16. So the sum of the two smallest uh, must be equal to the bigger one. 9 plus 16 equals 25. That is true. So that's a right triangle. We're looking for the one that is not. Look at this one. We need to find the areas. Five is, uh, 13 squared, I'm sorry, will be 169. 5 squared will be 25. And 12 squared will be 144. The sum of the two smallest, 25 plus 144, must be equal to the bigger one. This one is true. So this one is a right triangle. Let's look at uh, letter H. This one, as you can see, is already square, so this is already the area. To find the other areas, 9 square will be 81. 21 square will be 441. So 81 plus 144 is not equal to 441. So this one is not a right triangle. Let's just uh, check the, the last one. Six, uh, find the, this one is already the area, 100. Six, um, 64 is already also the area. And 6, we need to find the area. 6 squared will be 36. So 36 plus 64 equals to 100. This is a right triangle. So the only one that is not a right triangle because the statement is not true is letter H. Okay? Now, let's look at this uh, another example. Okay? Uh, it's saying which statement is true. Remember, the sum of the two smallest must be equal to the bigger one. So the sum of the areas of a square n and a square l is uh, equal to the square k. So this one is the one that must be true. So is the right answer, okay? Because this, the the is the sum of the two smallest must be equal to the bigger one.